Las Vegas, Sandy Castell and Friends. Host, here is Sandy Castell. Welcome to Sydney Castell and Friends Room Lighting Show with Jeff. Hey, Chef Michael, how you doing this morning? Man, I'm doing great. I'm feeling terrific. I'm feeling good. My voice is coming back. You know what I did? Yeah. I walked did outside. You a, did you have a good weekend? Oh my God! I went. I went to Florida. I hopped a plane <laughs> and I went to Miami Beach and I walked on the beach and it was wonderful. <laughs> What the hell was that drummer? Who was that? Is that Joey Vespi? I thought he was. In, I thought he was in Italy. Anyway, we had a great time. It was great. And what happened was, a couple of days ago, I walked out on the outside on our patio. You know, you know, and it was cold. The weather's changing, and when you walk with bare feet, my voice is starting to come back. But I lost my voice. Unbelievable, incredible. So if anybody finds that voice, don't use it, okay? Because I think Tony Saka would steal it from me and then make a lot of money. <laughs> Because, you know, we're not used to having you without a voice. So it was kind of right. quiet around the house this weekend. It was quiet around the house. You know, I got to tell everybody something real quick. You know, the, okay. the, the 19th is Sunday. Uh, Mark, okay. Jehovah, Mark Jehovah just called me. He said, Mike, I need two more tickets. So I said, send me the name. So we got to put Mark down for two more tickets to see him. Okay. You know, and I'll tell you when you get here. It's going to be great. And I, last night we had a dinner. And who comes over is Peter Anthony from Let's Talk About Your Hair. Let me tell you what this kid did. Now, we're going to give away gift backs. Everybody's going to give a, get, get a, a nice gift when they leave the concert. And in the gift bag, we got George Polera. We got all kinds of different things. I'm going to call Cafe Debu. But this kid turned around. And ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to me. He gave me a hundred and fifty. $75 gift certificates to go back to his establishment and get yourself your hair done, your nails done, whatever the hell this kid does at that salon, <clears throat> which was wonderful. So the tickets are $35 a piece, right? So 35 and 35 is what? 70 70 Okay. They got their money back and made $5 and got a free show with a dinner. And that kid, he said, Mike, he said, I said, now, why are you doing this? He said, Mike, he says, we love, my wife and I love you and Sandy. And what you're doing for Wema is incredible. Aww. He said, so it's my way of saying thank you is putting back in the system. And I, I had tears in my eyes. I gave the kid, a, he came over for dinner last night. I gave him a big hug and a kiss. And I said, I can't thank you enough for being so nice. Thank you so much, Peter Anthony and his lovely wife. She's a doll, and we thank you. So that was $70 gift. Hi, honey. Well, you know, it's Peter Anthony Wynn. And, you know, I've been calling him Peter Anthony all this time. And he said, you know, you never say my last name. And I said, well, I thought Anthony was your last name. He said, no, no, Peter Anthony is my first name. Wynn is his last name, W-Y-N-N. And they have an organization called Win Win, which is Stephanie Win and Peter Anthony Win. <laughs> wow, I that exciting. I just to clarify. <laughs> that That's incredible. I thought you were going to kiss me for a minute. Wait. So anyway, that was no, no, no. wasn't I'm that a little worried? Wasn't that great of him? So, so people, <laughs> amazing. So. You got 150 people, and everybody's got a $70 gift certificate. 75 or 70? What did they say? 75. 75. $75. $75. And you know, um, Peter Anthony does my hair. And it's funny because he says, you know, you always stumble over that. He says, you said, you know, well, she, he does my hair. Uh, he does this. I said, well, the reason I, I say he manages my hair color is that's what he told me he wanted to do, was manage my hair color. As if something was wrong with it before. I can't understand does it. Does he get 10%? <laughs> manages your hair color. So that's really, that's, real, that's really great. Now, we know that a lot of people are listening out there. As you see, it's Monday morning. We want everybody to know. You know, I tell you something. I did something crazy. I, I had some fun. Sandy's got this tea, this Chinese tea. I don't know yeah. what. And, uh, it's I'm, called Slim Tea. Slim Tea. You know what it is? S-L-I-M Slim Tea. If anybody knows <laughs> if anybody knows what Epso tabs are. Epso tabs. I don't know what Epso, Epso tabs are. I'd like to have some of the tea. I don't think you do. I don't Ep know. Epso tabs is the strongest laxative you could ever possibly take. This Chinese tea that Sandy gave me, I didn't realize what I was drinking, so I have two cups of this tea. <laughs> 
all of a sudden, I thought the atomic bomb went off in my stomach. So I came in. I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's, and Cindy said, what are you going? It's very been nice. I really enjoyed myself. I but said, I got to go. But I got to go. <laughs> and I'm he leaving. meant literally. <laughs> and I take, off, I take off my earphones and I run to the bathroom. I'm telling you something. I swear to you, it's a dangerous tea. It's dangerous. Well, you know, it's it's yeah, it's it is funny because it doesn't hit you like all at once, you know. How much weight do you lose? Who cares I, I, what happens in the other room? Does I don't it know work? How much weight have you lost so far, Michael? I Any? lost uh, fourteen pounds. <laughs> but the, the funniest you thing you didn't have fourteen pounds to lose. Yes, I did. But anyway, the funniest thing is that uh, I came back at the end to finish the show. And Sandy says, "What are you doing?" The phone calls and emails that we got. Oh, I know, I know. People thought that we were done. Was done, but it wasn't. We just signed. We just. He was done for that day. For that, no, I was done. Trust me. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you know we we've got Barbara Brighton here today. Who's Barbara Brighton? Barbara Brighton, Hi, otherwise known as uh, Joan. Rivers. Joan Rivers. Oh, my goodness. Yes, she does do an impersonation. Is that what you call it? Do you do an impersonation? Well, I do a tribute a to tribute Joan. A tribute to Joan very, Rivers. Yes. Very honest. It's a tribute. It's yeah. a tribute. Yeah. Can and, we talk but, here? <laughs> and you actually, you met her. You knew her. Yes. You know, and uh, yes. she even said that she, she, what did she say? I wish she I had said, your I body? Wish, I wish I had your body. I said, I wish I had your face. <laughs> and that's Brumbo. what our conversation was. <laughs> but and that's where it started. Yeah. No, well, I thanked her for giving me a life, actually. Yeah. Sandy. Well, you know, you're you're one of the new authors for um, the new writers for the Vegas Voice right. magazine. Right. Are you and, really? And that's yes, a, and I'm loving it. You know who's there writing? Evan Evan Davis. Evan Davis. Yeah. Yes, he's the entertainment editor now. Yeah, he'll never write about me. <laughs> or Sandy. They Was it something not, you said? They, they will not do it. They'll write about everybody in Las Vegas but us. Well, he's not going to write about you just because you say you'll never write about him. Who cares? Anyway, but you know, Evan Davis well, does that jazz, jazz blog. Yeah, I love and, and Evan's yes, my friend. He does I love blog. And yes, he really, plugs you. He, he, he plugs, he plugs about all. Oh yeah, he does. Plugs he plugs me. Us. He's just yeah. joking. Yeah. Yeah. Plug but, me. I'll plug him. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's as I was kind saying, of a show here. It oh, is, God. it is. Anyway, you know, to get back to my red hair, I was just going to say, because anybody who has red hair out there knows, knows what I'm talking about. In fact, Stephanie has red hair, and she has a beautiful, beautiful shade of red hair. It's Shellac. very, very bright, you know, and not a lot of people can carry that off, but I got to tell you, it's stunning on her. And uh, Peter Anthony did that for Stephanie her. Stephanie Edwards, did Steph you say? Stephanie Wynn. Oh, okay, because yeah. there was a talk show host in L.A. Stephanie, Stephanie Edwards, Edwards and she was also red hair. red hair. Well, you know, uh, yeah. My mom was a, a natural redhead, too. A lot of girls have, ex too. Uh, yeah. have experimented yeah, with it, especially blondes. Yeah. You know, have experimented with the red hair. And uh, what happens is the reds, because the molecule in your hair is a little small, and the molecule of mm -hmm. the red is really big, and so it doesn't yeah. really want to go and absorb inside that little molecule. I don't know. It's something I like that. I did that for a while. I yeah. did sparkling sherry. Sparkling sherry? Yeah, yes, it's a very I, light. I tried every color. I don't know who color. I am. Yeah. I really, it was, right. I'm not a redhead person, even though my no, mom you're was. Blonde I'm more of a person. blonde, but see, I I, and I did blonde for a while too. You yeah. know, and and I'm more of a redhead person. <laughs> so it works out. But anyway, so when when I met Peter Anthony and Stephanie, uh, we were over at Siena's. Remember, we were over at Siena's, uh, and you were up there singing Who? on stage. Siena's Italian Authentic Trattoria. Oh, on Boulder Giancarlo. High. Giancarlo. Oh, Giancarlo. Is this a ping pong. Oh, Giancarlo. Like a ping pong. <laughs> oh, Boulder High. Don't give that guy enough. Uh, that's enough. Hey, listen. What about that. it? Anyway, so um, <laughs> we were there, and you were performing. You're up on stage. You know. With the band and stuff, and I was, and Danny Vegas introduced me to Peter Anthony and yeah. Stephanie, and yes, and we were talking about WEMA, Danny says, well, tell them about your organization, WEMA, so as we were talking, I said, yeah, we're going to be going to TV, we're going to be, you know, going to Channel 6, and and he said, really? I said, yeah, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, because for the past, you know, a few months, I'd been doing my own red, my own red, and uh, so, you know, just enhancing, Looks pretty good, enhancing Sandy. a little bit, no, 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 that was before, you know, oh. so, and I was doing okay, but you know, the thing of uh, being an amateur, you know, doing your own hair, you know, sometimes the the trick is to get that nat that blend that goes throughout, you know, from roots all the way to the end. And so, you know, Peter Anthony was very gracious, and he said, you know, yeah, I'd love to manage your color. <laughs> so that's why whenever I introduce him, I say, Peter Anthony, he manages my color. So that's well, you know, he's funny. your manager. <laughs> he's my manager. I, went to, I talked to Lisa Grasso. Yes, I went to stop by and say the Grassos. Because they're our friends. I know, because Carl was in that tournament with Eddie. Yeah. And he, Over at Spanish Trails, right, and and for three and, days, and Carl won, yeah, which was great. He did. He won, and uh, Carl won. What did he win? What did he win? 
Billions. Billions. <laughs> so what happened was is that... Is uh, he single? Uh, no, 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 no. Lisa so anyway, Grosso. Her hair was <laughs> green. Her hair was green. I said, Lisa, what'd you do to your hair? She says, no, I was helping her count my husband's money, and I put my fingers through my hair. So the money from, you know, because Carl prints it, you know, he, he prints his own money. He's got, my kind he's of man. the only guy who can print his own money and back it. What happened? I just yeah, lost Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lost an earphone. Well, maybe there's a reason. Did you I lost really? your voice, now you lost your earphone. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. You're getting it back. I'm getting, I know. I'm getting I know. my voice back. <laughs> what happened? Oh, she's nothing. got nothing. Not a... Nothing? Oh, nothing so she lost it. Earphone. Oh, turn, why don't you turn up your knob? You did. There you go. Turn up the knob. How about... I'm grabbing you your knob now? right now. Oh, oh. Your, really? Hey, hey, hey. Be careful there. <laughs> Wait they a second. I could have fun here. Put to, you could. Like you it. could. So, Joan. my knob. So, Joan. Yes. Tell us. What? What's it like? To do what? To be you. To, to be Joan? <laughs> well, I gotta tell you about I don't Joan. know because she's dead, so I mean, I can't really. Oh, explain. no, 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 don't no. Don't no. say that. You know, I wasn't it hurts talking me. about that. It yeah. really, it, it no, hurts. No, we miss me. her. I know. Well, we you know how she so got her break. Energy. So does everybody. You know how she got her break? Yeah. How? Well, Joan Rivers was always fun. Well, you know, he has, he knows a lot of stuff. You know, mm -hmm. and I got it before. He calls it useless. Oh. No, no. But uh, some of this is pretty useless. Tony Fields. Tony Fields was nobody to play with. I remember. Tony was oh, the best. yeah. Yeah. And That's I remember great. Tony lost her legs, you know, because she got diabetes. She, uh, diabetes. Yes, I know. But when she died, mm -hmm. it was an open scale for Joan Rivers. She skyrocketed. Yeah. But, you know, because there was no competition. Don Rickles. There was, and it was a guy named Lenny. Bruce Kravitz? No, not Lenny. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Lenny. The crazy guy? Oh my he God. can't remember. He used to call everybody a hockey puck. Anyway, he had the same um, comedy. I just mentioned him. Oh, I know who you're talking the about. The comedian. Exactly. The I guy that did all the, um, got in trouble for all the problems and things he said. No, on. that's Lenny Bruce. Bruce. That's Lenny Bruce. No, yeah. not, not Lenny Bruce. Lenny no, Bruce. I know oh, you're talking somebody about. Else. I know his face. Lenny White, Lenny name. Brown, Lenny no. Jehovah. No, no. I don't anyway, know. <laughs> because, uh, anyway, he was uh, he was the same type of that type of comedian. What kind of comedian? He was like Don Rickles. Like Tony Fields? Oh, like Don Rickles. Right. And then when he died... Mm. You know, Rickles. Open up the door for Don Rickles. Well, open up the door for Don Rickles. And Rickles was the only guy because Sinatra loved him. And the stuff that he said to him. Oh, yeah. Really, Nobody else could get away with that I mean, stuff that he said. years ago. I listened to some of it. You showed me that yes, YouTube thing where years Don ago, said some comments. So. The Jews were the comedians. Okay. And the Italians were the singers. Well, you know, oh, if you Jerry just, Lewis, Dean Martin, Marty Allen, Jerry Steve Dale, Rossi. Well, Jerry, yeah, but Jerry, yeah, yeah well, just fingers. Go ahead, honey, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. She's going, she's, what am I breaking? What you're breaking, you're, you're breaking broken. my heart. You know, if you're just huh? tuning in now, you're listening to Why Sandy Castell. Well, it's Ryan's break. fault. You know, he's the one that did it. Anyway, if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with mm -hmm. Jeff Michael and Barbara Brighton, who's going to be back and giving us some some little sticks. So we'll be right back after message from our sponsors. Jewish food. Holla radio show like it. This is Sandy Castell and Fred. The phone lines are open at 702-731-1230. Now, here again, Sandy Castell. Hi, and welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. We need another chair here for Barbara because she's like sitting down in a in a I'm a shorty. No, here, it's on that right side. Anyway, right the side. name I was, couldn't think of was yeah. Jackie Leonard. There's nothing there. Huh? John, it's right here. No one gives a rat's ass what I just said. <laughs> These aren't coming up either. We need some high, ch high chairs. We need some high chairs. Anyway, anyway, Jackie um, Leonard. Jackie Leonard was the guy. Jackie need Leonard, not Lenny, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Jackie, oh, okay. he used to, he used to yeah. call everybody a hockey puck. Yeah, yeah. Hey, those guys are hockey yeah, puck. Oh, Jackie Leonard, okay. And he died. And then there was Jackie Mason. Uh, he was funny. <laughs> and then there was. Uh, well, I used you know, to see him as a kid. Then there was Rodney Dangerfield. Remember Rodney? I mean, I remember when he, you know, did his comeback. Get any respect. He just says, "I don't get any respect." Right? Yeah, you know. And, well, Ed and Sullivan's a game. Is, Ed Sullivan gave him the break. And then he was over at the Sahara Hotel when I was there with Pen Ups at the Movies by Jerry Jackson and James Dean. Well, and I got, I got some Matt exciting Terry news. Ritter. You I got, do? Yes, yeah, Terry. What about Terry Ritter? I don't know. No, Who is Terry news Ritter? Is that? Terry Ritter. She's the pager. You know, we. My uh, friend, my yeah, good friend, and we remember. Yes, I got. Sometimes when she's in town. <laughs> Any relation to John Ritter? Yes. Yeah. No, no. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's the nephew. That's, you know, Cece Spencer, Spencer is the niece of Nat King Cole. Ah. I don't know who that is either. Neither do I. So anyway, is anybody alive on this show? Because we keep talking dead. to everybody that's passed away. No, what happened was we're very excited to say 
as an afterthought, since we did, we're doing the television show on the 19th, I invited we're Rich doing Rizzo. doing the television show. Oh, what you mean is we are filming. filming. See, now there's a yes, difference right, when you say we are filming for, for the TV, TV show, show at Canyon Gate Country Club, right. the big band event that we So I called there. Rich Rizzo. I called Rich Rizzo. Yes. And he's bringing the Follies. <gasps> The Las Vegas Follies? The Las Vegas Follies to oh open the show. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They are fabulous. To open the show for yes. us to have them in. They were just with T. Fox over at the uh, Fiesta. Fiesta? What, what's the rest of part of that? The that? Fiesta. It's a Fiesta yeah. Siesta or something. The Fiesta something. Yes. Fiesta. Hotel and Casino. Um, yeah, but it's something else. I've been anyway, trying to get, I love Fiesta. Yes, Sherry Gordy. What a sweetheart. Sherry Gordy yeah. presents and, every Thursday night. And who's and, and the nicest man I've ever met on earth. T. Fox. No, no. Oh. T's all right. Okay. I Neil Colmenares. No, not Neil. Dr. Perry. No, not him either. Let me guess. Jimmy Molidor. No, forget about him. <laughs> That guy makes my coffee. My dad. <laughs> your father, he's a pain in my ass. <laughs> Let me well, tell you. Well, who is the nicest man you've ever met in your life? Truthfully, if I tell you, you never believe it. Oh, well, tell us. Barry Gordy Jr. Uh, Robert, Robert Gordy, Gordy Jr. <laughs> You don't even you know, know who the nicest the nephew, guy. Michael. you got to get this straight. He is the nephew of Barry Gordy. And, you know, Sherry is the daughter of Barry Gordy. So you got to get but, this straight because, yeah, you know. Yeah, I keep saying Barry. Robert Gordy, to me. Junior. Junior. Is the nicest man. He is the sweetest the guy. The humble. I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, and Monique Brewster. Moni Both Monique, of them. And, she's uh, and Monique is a doll. She's oh, a and beautiful she's a great girl. blues singer, But Sherry's too. lovely, oh too. Sherry's, oh, Sherry's, Sherry's sweet. a lovely, sweet. I know. You know, she was. She, humble she lady. She called in uh, the other day with Robert. Robert, you know, last week and on Friday, and she says, "Yeah, it's hard for me to get up in the morning because yeah. you know, I'm just because yeah. <laughs> after Thursday night doing the show and everything, yeah. it's rough, you know." And, and I'll tell you, this, they're, they're wonderful people, and I've been very, and Sandy and I have been very blessed to have the radio show and now go to television ah. and now open up our own supper club. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we're looking, we're, we're looking, looking, we're looking. We're, we're, we're definitely we might be getting close. We're, get, we're definitely going to open up. We're going to have club. one of those barometers that's going right, getting closer. And getting closer. what's nice about it is like. Um, it, it's about time that Las Vegas, okay, I said to Sandy, I'm 62 years old. <gasps> I might as well put everything, take a shot. You know what I mean? Go, put, let it ride. Put every dime in. Let's see what, what let's see what happens. And I truly believe with the right food, <clears throat> right entertainment, right location. Right voice. Right voice. <laughs> you, know I mean? you better rest your voice before Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I but uh, I might not be able to sing Wednesday. If, if I'm like, yes, forget like it. If I you know what I feel yeah. about that, Michael? Yeah. What? I feel that life is short. And if you want to do something, go ahead and do it. That's right. I mean, I took a gamble to move from Florida. I love Florida. I know. I a lot just, of Jews in Florida. just came back. New York. Yeah. But thank God for a place like Florida because wow. it's a great place to retire. It's Unfortunately, beautiful. Beautiful. I wanted to move to Las Vegas because I wasn't ready to retire. Right. And I've lived in Florida. I went to college there. I went to high school. I did everything in oh, Florida. Oh, so you've been there for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you know I... Between New York and Florida and uh, California, that's my entire life but I was talking about a gamble you know you're talking about taking a gamble that's what you wanted to do I took a gamble did I interrupt something? No, no. we were okay. trying not to I took to a gamble to move to, Las, to, quiet. to move to Las Vegas. I and know, and I think right? I think you were coerced yeah. or pulled here to come here because you were drawn here. And you got here, and mm -hmm. it's like, okay, now what do I do? Well, let me well, say something. I well, loved yeah. Miami Beach. Yeah. Uh, 1969. 69. I was a kid, teenager. Yeah. I played the Marco Polo on 198th <laughs> oh, in Collins Avenue. I remember Avenue. hearing about We the still Marco do Polo. shows there. Yeah. Except they stopped. And... <laughs> And, and I was introduced yeah. to an Eddie Cantor. Oh, yeah. I'm on 93rd and Collins Avenue. I'm staying at the Alganti Hotel. Okay. Right across the street from Surfside. I'm just okay. a kid. Okay. And I'm sitting around the pool area, and I see a guy, the oh. waiter, taking this order. I said, boy, that looks yeah. really nice. I said, I think I'll have that. And I see the waiter seat. I was a kid. He said, that's called an Eddie Cantor. Oh. I said, what the hell's an Eddie Cantor? <laughs> he said, son, have you ever tried locks? <laughs> and me being Italian, I said, what the hell's locks? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Sandy and I, we love oh, yeah. locks. Yeah. Well, I had my first experience with locks out in Los Angeles yeah. when I was working at the uh, California Mart out there. And uh, it was and when I first, it was after I moved out there, um, gosh, 1980. 80, and I, I was out there for about a year. And then I went to, I took a part-time job over there in the clothing business, you know, just while I was singing. Singing on the weekend, singing through, through the week and doing mm -hmm. auditions and things like that. And so I took this three-day-a-week job over there at the clothing mart. And we would go for breakfast and I that's where I had locks for the first time
time and I fell in love with it. Yeah. I have to tell you, I'm the only Jew that doesn't like locks. Oh! <laughs> I can't stand luck. Oh but my how gosh, do we get really? from gambling to luck? I don't no, know. No, I, I, just I, I know. She was talking about she took a gamble, okay, right. a gamble. And, to move and, here to Las Vegas. As, as all the years that I lived in Florida, New after York, and California. And this California. is a gambling town. And after all those yeah, That's right, Michael. Towns. Get with the program here. Because it was, before you came, he was talking about Florida. So I thought, well, let me uh, chime sure. in. Because Everything in life is a gamble, so I was giving you uh, kudos An to go ahead. That's right. That's right. Go ahead and do it, because we only have one life. What, to could, live. what could happen? You could lose. Big deal. You took the gamble. At least one so life try to live it. as we are it's now. A, well, it's a bucket rem- list. You I got, mean, you, you know, to save some. some money, put some away, right. we, you know, just in case. Well, you know, you know, you're right, Barbara. And, <laughs> you know, when I was at the California Mart a long time ago, I remember this guy, one of the salesmen came in, and he had just turned 50 years old, and he, uh, he went out and he bought a Porsche. He, he didn't buy the uh, Cabri- the uh, Carrera, but he bought the uh, smaller one, you know, the Boxer or something like that. Yeah. But he came in and he said, you know, I already put my kids through school. You know, I went to college. I got my degree. You know, I've been supporting my family. Put, put all my kids through school. They're mm-hmm. all through school now. And then my best friend just died. Right. And his best friend kept saying, you know, when I retire... Right. I'm going to go do this. When I retire, right. I'm going to buy a, you know, a Porsche. Yeah. When I retire, right. I'm going to get that boat and sail around the world. Yeah. And he said, don't wait. Do it now. That's right. Do it now. And I feel the same way. So I was encouraging you to open your supper club, and I'm going to apply as a waitress. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, if Are Las you Vegas... Are you Joan Rivers waitress? Yeah, I am. I am. I'm going to well, go. you know, hey, that would be a cool yes. idea. You know, everybody that's a waiter right. or a waitress, right. you know, they could Can be... Can we talk here? What do you have? What do you have? Be no locks. We don't serve locks artists. at this restaurant. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> Well, no, you know, no, no, that's been done. You know, in, in, in all the years I've been in Las Vegas. Oh, Las- singing waitress. I did that too in New York. Yeah. In all oh, the yeah. years I've been in Las Vegas. In LA. And I came in <laughs> Vegas in 1974. Okay. There was a platform for people like myself and Sandy and you. Right. Yeah, the show band. Right. right. As that's the right. years went by. In the lounges. Right. Yeah. It has changed. Yeah, I know. The search shows came in. And when you watch the movie Casino. It was so profound for me because at the end of the movie, they were showing Mm -hmm. Vegas get all broken up. Explosions. If you remember at the end of the oh, movie, all the, uh, the all the uh, and then the new right. people came in implosions, the, the implosions, implosions and stuff the like that, all that kind down. of stuff. Just true to life, you know. And I <laughs> yeah. want to tell you something. Yeah. We went. We went to Siena's. We filled the room. You couldn't get into Sears. Well, I was there. Cigar lounge, I had a good time. Cigar lounge. Yeah. You couldn't get into Sears. Right. Mm-hmm. Now we're up at that Tuscany, Tuscany Grill. Grill with Lou right. Mike. Filling the room. Right. Filling <laughs> the room. Doing a great yeah. job. Right. So I said, you know, it's people are starving for great entertainment. How many times can you yeah. go see a search show for $189 yeah. Yeah. and you sit down and you pick up yeah. a $600 bill here, you get a great meal, you go to lose up in... Uh, and the search shows are nice. They're I mean, nice. Don't, don't get, get me wrong. No, no, yeah. they're wonderful. Well, they're basically they, but, not for the locals, but when though. You're talking, you're talking about, about people locals. coming in. That's right. The right. locals want to see something, you know, and here we're giving them... Now, I know there's some other places around town that have been starting to do this, but, you know, ours... Every place is different, and what's different about our place is us. But you know what's it's sad? It's our personality. Right. Right. You know what's sad? These people, the people, and I don't want to mention the names, but people go out there and perform, and these these owners of these places outside of the Tuscany. Mm-hmm. Tuscany Grill. Mm-hmm. Outside of these guys. They won't even offer them guys a glass of water. The other guys. Mm. The other guys. Not our guys. Not our guys. People will go in, they'll sit in, and they'll do, like, you know, you go down, the bootlegger. You know what I mean? You go Nothing. down there. Nothing. Yeah, you can sing all you want. They ain't going to give you no comp. You yeah. want to sing, you can sing. Right. Me, as an owner of a place, mm. you, the guy sing, for God's sake, give him a dish of macaroni, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I respect you well, for Well, now, I do, have to say, I do have to say, the Tap House, at yes. 11 o'clock at night, after oh. they have Monday night mm. at Tap House, and at 11 o'clock, or when they close, when they finish over there on the one side with the entertainment, they go over, they bring out pizzas and the wings mm. and everything for their right. people. So right. for everybody, they well, open I'm, it up. Yeah. And that's That's wonderful. But that's I'm, talking about yeah. the, I'm talking about these places that have entertainment. No, and I, 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 I don't know, want to knock anybody not talking, down. I, that's what I'm saying. There right. are some places that just don't do it. They don't yeah. get it. They think, you know, that there's still, that, you know, to charge somebody in the band full price, like $14 for a drink, you know. I mean, excuse right. me. You know, they're there working. They're in your in your place. They're actually bringing people into your location. You know, just a little consideration. And and the guys at Tuscany Grill, you know, Jerry, Lou, and Mike. Which is a fun I'm, place. I mean, my gosh, these Very guys are the sweetest, nicest guys. And I got to tell you, you know, Jerry and 
and Lou, I knew them from when they were at Philip's Supper House. And I know I've said this before, but you know they were so good over there. And then and then um, Lou had worked with uh, Mike over at Di Martino's, which was another excellent Italian restaurant. You know they had worked when they were mm-hmm. in their twenties. Then all three of them got together and created the Tuscany Grill. Yeah. And you know what Jerry said when I asked him? I said, you know, what do you want us to say about you? You know, when we do our commercial. He goes, just tell them we're three regular guys, and all we really want you to do is come and eat with us and drink with us and have a good time. Hello. I like it if a you're lot. just tuning in now, you're listening yeah. to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael, and we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors, and I hope we're going to hear about a special recipe. But actually, I might give you one too. Anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> I, I wanted to say something. The Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. Keep tuning in. A wonderful way to start your day. This is Sandy Castell and Fred. Here again, your host, Sandy Castell. Hi, and welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. And we've got Barbara Brighton here today with us. Hi, Barbara. Us. You Hi. Know, you know, Michael, we had a wonderful dinner last night uh, at the house. Yeah, but it wasn't the same. There was somebody missing. There was. Jolie, 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 Jolie. Jolie. Uh, but I think he's on the phone right Is now. Is really? Jolie? Is that Jolie? Uh, good morning, Sandy. Good, good morning, Chef Michael. Good morning, hey, good morning. Dagarucci, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, what's, what's happening with you boys? Like a meatball st- stuck in your throat. Oh, Jesus. my God. <laughs> well, you know, that... Meatball. I walked You're out... You're talking like a godfather this morning. Yes. I know. You know, actually, a couple of days ago, you really sounded like him. He was like... But thanks, thanks, God. Sandy is there with, uh, with a million-dollar voice and smile. You know, <laughs> that we are used to it in the morning. I know, you know, and we got we got we might have to uh, ensure that voice, you know. For well, you have to take some uh, lemon and honey. That's right. Uh, I if, keep telling him. Yeah. Well, you're thinking like Perry I'll Como right. next I'll day. I'll be all right. The yeah, last time this happened Perry was Como. years ago. <laughs> Come on, Mel Torme. <laughs> yes. Anyway, it wasn't the same without you last Now night. he's singing like Tom Waits. Oh, yeah, but we had a great time, Joe. <laughs> we missed you. Uh, we missed I know you. it's all. Totally. It's always a good, uh, good time over the over you guys. We had this chair, and it was vacant. And I said, well, where's but, your leg? But you want to laugh, Joe Lay? You're going to laugh. Sandy did all the cooking That's yesterday. right. I well, want to tell you some something. The, mostly cooking. She did all the cooking. Let no, me, she let did me, all the cooking. Let me tell you something. No BS. She made stuffed peppers. Yep. They were delicious. Mm. Then she made this chicken dish. I don't know what it was. Chicken Alley Mary Lou. And, yeah, Chicken Alley Mary Lou from with uh, Jimmy Melodor and his right. whole crew. It was delicious. And then butter squash. I gotta have that again. I'm gonna tell you something. I always get agitated when I eat at night. I get acid indigestion. My stomach blows up. Last night I tried everything around the table. That's right. I he ate for a change, Jolie. I felt phenomenal. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And I said. And then this, you took the slim tea and went. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that was this morning. But I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. This whole week. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to have the butter squash, and I'm going to buy <laughs> fish. But tell me what other squash we had. Don't, we, tell me, don't tell me Sandy Cook. She I did. did. She did all the I cooking. I did, Jolie. That's why I said you missed out. Really? But, but that's okay. Oh, I'll God. do it again. I made... Um, good, yeah, I also made the... Think I missed the dinner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Prapam! Oh, you're in trouble now, Jolie. But Jolie, let me tell you Kirko what happened. and I are going to gang up on you. Let me tell you what happened, Joe. I get a yeah. phone call. Listen, they took my leftovers, too. I get a phone call from from Dr. Perry. Dr. Perry calls me on the phone. Oh, yeah, because they wife, went to see... Um, she went, what's the kid's name? That they Chadwick. Like? Yeah, Chadwick, that yeah, kid. Chadwick. They, they like that kid, so they went to go see him and John, support Chadwick him. Johnson? Chadwick yeah. Johnson. I was with him last night at the Italian American Club. You were, club. yeah. What a wonderful oh, singer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I, get, so, I, I got so all his albums. I got so, Diane album and Do- so Diane and Dr. Pepper, Perry... Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Perry Where's he working? Went to see them last... Went to see Chadwick last night. Last night, and Dr. Perry calls oh. Michael. Now, Dr. Perry is a very soft-spoken man. I was there with Maxine. Oh, with the doctor. He had thirty pills he was taking. Yes, yes I know you oh, talk God. about the couple. Yeah. I remember. He's very, very quiet. And he called me. He says, "Mike, I want you to know that I wanted to be there, but I was overruled he <laughs> said, by my wife because he didn't get to eat with us every Plus Sunday." Must have been Maxine too. Yeah. <laughs> Maxine. Yeah, I was at the table. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, yeah. Is that that short little Jewish woman? Yeah, Maxine. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's about two foot three. But, but the doctor and his wife uh, were. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're our buds, our best right. buds. They're, they're, we love Anyway, yeah. Jolay, so we missed you. We missed you. And Jolay. we also, I made Thank some, you. I made spaghetti squash also. 
Okay, so next next time I would like, like to test you. But now, uh, but also, Michael made something that I do not like. Okay, Brussels sprouts. And I got to tell you, I really do not like Brussels sprouts, but the way he made them, he made them with what, Michael? Tell us how you made them. Well, you, I bought, I'll, let me you give you the recipe. That's what I mean. I might as well give the Because everybody was eating them. I mean, Jimmy, he had about six, he had about a half a dozen. How about and Peter, uh, Peter Anthony's uh, wife? Uh, yeah, I Stephanie feel like went, I gained 20 pounds Stephanie being on this show today. Them, and she goes, oh my God, these are the best, and this is my favorite. I love Brussels sprouts. Well, what you do, everybody, is you go to the Schmitz, you know, on Durango, and you Food go and down. See Don, he's the produce manager. Yep. Say Chef Michael sent you. That's right. They got, you can buy the fresh, the fresh. Fresh Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. And what you do is this. You got to blanch, blanch, B-L-A-N-C-H. How do you blanch? What you do is boil them. Boil them. Right. What you do is you put them in a pan with a lid. Get a fork. Once the fork goes through the Brussels sprout, Okay. It's done. Then you take the Brussels sprout out of the water. Drain it. Drain it. Okay. Then you add garlic and oil. Mm. And then you saute them. <laughs> and then you add butter. You add salt, pepper, a little parsley. I'm telling you something. Show and I wonder Brussels why sprouts. I gained 20 it's pounds this last It's unbelievable. Year. I'm telling you. It's unbelievable. And by doing it that way... They're not gassy. No. They're not gassy. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're not. If you just if you just boil them or you steam them, the the, the, um, the gases that that have in that Brussels sprout, you have to turn around. I'm telling you, it's not good. <laughs> because, Listen, Michael. Because you blow. I'm you'll trying blow to get off. back <laughs> to my original weight, seven pounds four ounces. <laughs> and it's not going to happen being on the Sandy Castell show. No, it's tell. not. It's not. So Jolay, so he yep. made the Brussels sprouts, and everybody loved them. And in fact, uh, Stephanie took the rest of them right. home with her. She says, "I want to. Can I take the few of them home?" And uh, really it was it was wonderful. It was so great. we had a, we had a great mix of you know some of the meals being prepared by him and some of it being prepared by me. And and everybody loved it. So well, that it was, was nice good. to but see we missed Sandy. usually. It was nice to see I'm, Sandy I'm in the kitchen. That, I'm sorry that I, test, that I didn't test you food. I, uh, it was good, Joe. No, ah, that's okay. We'll delicious. do it again. We'll do it again. When Pirco gets back, we'll do it. Not next Sunday. Listen, okay, Jolie, um, we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday night. Wednesday night out Absolutely. at Tuscany Grill, okay? Is uh, Pirco okay. going to be back yet or is she still gone? Yeah, she will be back Wednesday, but she's going to be back midnight sometime. But oh, I did, yeah. okay. All right, well, we'll yeah. see you there uh, Wednesday night. Okay, great. Okay, Thanks. love you guys. Love Take you, care. too. You are the best. Thank you. Okay, ciao. Hi. Anyway, Barbara, so yes. now, when you, when you came out to Las Vegas, I do want to ask you this, because when you came back, when mm -hmm. you came out here, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you come into a new town sometimes, it's kind of challenging, because you're going, where do I go, where do I That's go, That's the I word, go? challenging. Ha yeah, so yeah. what did you do? Did you go out to a lot of these open mics around town? Well, let me tell you, I started here in... 72, but who's counting? <laughs> at, at Caesar's Palace with Harry Belafonte. You remember? Oh, Harry Belafonte. It was magnificent. Oh and, and I was like in awe because the first time I played Las Vegas and um, what could be better? I mean, it took a picture of my name on the marquee. At that time, yeah. it was Bobby Brighton. <laughs> Bobby? Oh, Anybody okay. that knows me from mm -hmm. L.A. knows me as Bobby. But it was a great time, as you know, and I went and watched uh, Harry's show every single night. Then they came to the lounge to watch me. I was with Poopy Campo. I don't know if you all remember that name, but it was... I was it in was, grade school. It was a great day. I was, Shut <laughs> up, Sandy. I wasn't even born. <laughs> Grow up. Come on. I'm getting nervous here. The wrinkles are getting deeper. But it was a great time. Oh, yes, and yeah. And you went to everybody's big show. Debbie Reynolds was That's right. I mean, you went to every main showroom. To, you couldn't even cross the street. And at that time, it was street. only a couple of drinks to come and see a show in the oh, lounge. And you saw was great. comedians. Yeah. You saw performers. You had and shows. Then, and you did the lounges. Yeah, I mean, the lounges. And, and, and they then, were great. And then a little bit later, I was going back and forth to um, all my markets <laughs> everywhere. Los Angeles, New York. I don't know where I was. Then and I came back in 86 to the DI. Remember when oh, the yeah, DI yeah. was great? I love that and, hotel. Um, it's the only place I never played. Burton Cohen. Oh, yeah. I remember was, that was when and I And I did Burton five Cohen, shows yeah. a day. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. The lounges, right? Five and shows I a day. 45, I had Vegas Voice. On, it was on, now I'm right? writing for the Vegas yeah. Voice. But it was ridiculous. <laughs> you had Vegas Voice yeah. and now you're writing. And I came back Did you hear forth. that? 
Ryan, yeah. come on, you gotta get on. She had Vegas voice, now she's writing for the Vegas voice. I'm writing a column for Vegas voice. Oh, yeah, Vegas it's a great. Voice. She just, yeah. you gotta read the first col- yeah. column that she wrote. Well, what know, happened to Evan inter- Davis? What does he do? Oh, he's he the entertainment a column too. editor. See, every, every there's but different people who write different columns, Michael. How about Sam Weissmeister? Wagmeister. Wagmeister. He writes a column too. He writes a column. I think, you know what I think? It's a different arm for You need to write a column. No, we need to open up our own magazine. Yeah, we'll do our own. Write about ourselves. Since we'll never get any publicity. This is um, a thumbprint of Las Vegas. But when the publisher, Dan Roberts, asked me, do I want to write? I said, sure, I'd love to. Yeah, Dan. So I'm interviewing celebrities because that's my... I did a talk show in L.A. for three years with celebrities and and all other different kinds. So I'm interested in... And all different other kinds. No, different (laughs) kinds of shows. Battered women, cooking shows. I knew nothing about cooking. I did it all. You know, you have to see me cooking. I drop a ring in the salad, forget it. I wouldn't know what I was doing. (laughs) But I had, you know, it's not my bag. But uh, I was very eclectic. I'm still eclectic. But I wanted to say, what does that mean, eclectic? What were you going to say about the the open mic? You know, how what I wanted to say (laughs) was when I started. She's just as bad as we are. I have to get it all in because everybody (laughs) is is quick here. Uh, When I started, like every like everybody (laughs) thinks, but um, um, (laughs) when I started here, it was really showbiz and an entertainment capital. That's right. It was. World. Fast forward, I, I always came back and forth to play Sam's Town and the Suncoast for the Ed Matthews Desert Productions. Oh, yeah. And Ed I and thought Phillip, that yeah. was great. It was mm-hmm. great. It brought me back to do shows. And when I was so happy here six months ago, I said, I'm going to move here. Yeah. So uh, I'm not disappointed. It's just so different because everybody said, you won't make a living bar because all you have to do is go to the open mic. What's an open <laughs> mic? That's for an amateur, right? No. All of the professionals go open mics. I said, why? <laughs> you don't get paid. Well, you have to do what you do. I said, okay, so you have to go there. 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 I'm so tired of going there and there and there and there and there. But so it's a different thing, the open mic. But it's so fulfilling for a performer. I have to tell you, it would be nice if they gave you dinner, so, something, something to well, make you feel that you know your talent is not wasted. That's because right. the people actually are paying money right. to see the talent. That's right. And what what's happened is all the places are getting free right. entertainment. And it started a long time ago, back in nineteen uh, in the eighties, out in L. A. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. But anyway, this is uh, if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef. Another Michael. break, you're kidding yes, me. Yes, we have to. We have sponsors. In fact, you know, Dave and Bruce and all the guys and the gang for Lotus and KLAV. We love you guys. We just got to send a shout out to you. And we'll be right back after our sponsors. Oh, Recipes. More fun. This is Sandy Castell and Friends. Here again, your host, Sandy Castell. Okay, welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. You know what, Chef Michael? I've got to go for a filming of a part of the segment for Stay Fit and Fabulous Forever over at Sherry Goldstein's, let me say this correctly, Yoga Sanctuary over on Cimarron at West Sahara. And we're going to start filming at 10 o'clock. We're going to film the class, and then it'll be up on our TV show soon. Yeah. Thank so you for asking me to run. join you, Sandy. Thank you so much, uh, Barbara. And That's also, as I'm leaving, we're going to uh, put in, she's got a trailer. Track here, and this is from Australia. I understand from my other life as a singer in Australia. Your other life yes. as a singer. Yes, yes, a I like singer. The, the singer. I'm still singing. A singing. <laughs> I'm a singer. You're a singer. We're all singer. He's yeah. a singer too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not good with voices. Forget it. Anyway, so here she is, Barbara Brighton. Funny how a lonely day can make a person say, "What good is my life?" Funny how a breaking heart can make me start to. Thank you. 
God, that was fabulous. Barbara. 27 musicians. I heard the arrangement is great. Oh, thank you. That is, uh, you know, I want you to know that uh, thank you. Don yes. Henley is going to be playing with us this week. Don who? Uh, Don Henley. Okay. Great. Hunley. That's what I said. Oh, Hunley. I said Hunley. I thought it was Henley. Henley. Oh, with a U. There's yeah, also Don, a Don Henley. Yeah, well, what happened is David DaCosta. David DaCosta's right. going out of town, and he took Chad Michaels with him, you know, as conductor, uh, which is nice. Chad had a lot of fun. Chad, I've worked with, with you. Yeah, he, he also played in uh, Miami, in yeah, Florida. Lovely yeah, Chad's guy. a nice kid. You yeah. know, I wish, and we wish them both the, all the luck in the world. You know what I mean? We're going to miss them, you know. But uh, anyway, they, unfortunately, he won't will not be with us at the Siena's. Um, Siena's, I mean, at the uh, Tuscany. Tuscany, and he will not be with us at the concert because he's going out of town. But I know he's going to be performing at the end of the month. He's, he's coming back to do something at the, um, what's that jazz joint? Uh, where, oh, Disp dispensary? Dispensary. He's going to do Lo something that's there. That reminds <laughs> me of a Paris yep. a nightclub. Oh, I love the dispensary. It, it's really neat. It's really nice. It's a bar. Yeah. But it's really well, nice. Well, it's not no. just a bar. It's I love that. The they great hamburgers. No the, joke, man. No joke. They're hamburgers the, to die for. Right. I love them. But the ambiance is like Paris. And when I first went in there, I, I was, because everybody talked about these places to yeah. go and see. And I thought it was lovely. Well, get back to what I was telling you earlier today. You know, uh, that's why we opened up the Supper Club. It'll give an opportunity for performers like yourself. I'll have a, I'll have a phenomenal house band. Wonderful. I'll put a tremendous six-piece, three brass, three rhythm yeah. in there. You know, and like I said, it's like, you know, it's like anything else. Most of these people, they open mm -hmm. up these places. You know what I mean? They're in the restaurant business. They're not in the the entertainment business they don't know their butt from a hole in the ground when it comes to entertainment they open up a bar they open up a restaurant they know the restaurant business and they get a band they don't have a clue Mm -hmm. And you could tell because they don't have proper lighting. There's no sound system. There's no curtain. There's no stage. The only guy that did it right is Ron Dakar. And I was there last night. Right. I did the show at the event center. Right. That's the That's only guy show. right that did it right yeah. and spent over a million dollars and did a beautiful job. So when yeah. you perform yeah. there, you that's the last of the wonderful showrooms. But, but, but he's a singer, a wonderful well, because performer, the kid so under, he has a feeling. But the kid understood. Yeah. what it's about about yeah. entertainment yeah. most of these people here in Las Vegas that open up these places mm -hmm. and decide to put a band in yeah. they don't know they don't understand what it yeah. what the, uh, entertainment need what the entertainer needs you know there's some place there's no stage the guys bring their own sound system and yeah. you know and he did a we, good job. we got a price 25,000 and that was moderate to put a, a stage in for six people. Curtain, sound, proper lighting, mood lighting, sound man. In fact, John uh, John Styles is going to be not only our cameraman but our sound man. You know, to have that. So when a performer walks in, you know, we do that. Now we're doing that show on the nineteenth, which I'm going to and looking forward. Right. And to. And I want to mention. I'm glad that yeah. you said something to me yeah. because the people that are um, that's women in music, is it not? What's uh, that there? Uh, Wema. Yeah. Women's women in music. That's yes, because everybody told me you must go. Women in arts and music, but and I'm, I'm delighted to be a guest. Uh, Pratt Strad, S T R A D. All right, electrical string quartet, phenomenal. Robbie Turner. Okay, Robbie Turner is the guy that is going to put the sound that's going to come in and do all the sound for us. He's taking in three sound guys. You know what I mean? 16 piece orchestra. Everybody will be mic'd sound. Because you're doing a concert. You know, because our camera crew mm. said, I'm telling you right now, Leonetti, they made me sign an agreement. You, you can't hold it. It's responsible for the sound. You're going to have to have a sound crew. So naturally, we went out and got. You know, spend a tremendous amount of money to bring the proper sound because this is for television. You know, we don't have a guy with a Betamax on his shoulder shooting. We got two cameramen, three sound crew, a staff of 14, just in waiters and so forth and so on. So anyway, we're very excited and uh, we're happy. And we're happy that you're forward. on you. the show and Thank we're you. glad that you're going to be there. Sandy's oh, out yeah, there. Sandy, forward. I know you're listening in. We love you. We're, be careful. Drive in. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't thank you enough for always listening in. You know what I mean? And all our good friends that are out there, we just renewed our contract, so we're here for another three months. So I don't want people to think that we're done. We're May not. I thank you for no, asking you me to kidding. be a guest, we love Michael you. Listen, and we want, Sandy. Thank we want you, you so to much. come back. We want you to thank come back. You. This platform okay. is for entertainers. It's to let people know out there that we care and we got great talent in Las Vegas. And Sandy and I are going to bring it back to let everybody know 
what great talent that we have here. But, but me, right. you're going to be paid. That's the only difference with me. When? <laughs> when? We pay it right now. Where's me, the check? Is it in the check. mail? It's in the mail. It's always anyway, in the mail. Thank you, everybody, for listening in. We'll see you tomorrow. Sandy and I will be here, and I hope my voice is a little bit better. Hey, bonda salud. Adiscazada questa la tutta cosa. Oh,